Johannes Georg Bednors born May 16, 1950, is a German physicist who, together with K. Alex Muller, discovered high-temperature superconductivity in ceramics, for which they shared the 1987 Nobel Prize in Physics. <laughs> Life and work Bednors was born in Neuenkirchen, North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany to elementary school teacher Anton and piano teacher Elisabeth Bednors, as the youngest of four children. His parents were both from Silesia in Central Europe, but were forced to move westwards in turbulences of World War II. As a child, his parents tried to get him interested in classical music, but he was more practically inclined preferring to work on motorcycles and cars, although as a teenager he did eventually learn to play the violin and trumpet. In high school he developed an interest in the natural sciences, focusing on chemistry, which he could learn in a hands-on manner through experiments. In 1968, Bednors enrolled at the University of Munster to study chemistry. However, he soon felt lost in the large body of students and opt to switch to the much less popular subject of crystallography, a subfield of mineralogy at the interface of chemistry and physics. In 1972, his teachers Wolfgang Hoffmann and Horst Bohm arranged for him to spend the summer at the IBM Zurich Research Laboratory as a visiting student. The experience here would shape his further career. Not only did he meet his later collaborator K. Alex Muller, the head of the physics department, but he also experienced the atmosphere of creativity and freedom cultivated at the IBM lab, which he credits as a strong influence on his way of conducting science. After another visit in 1973, he came to Zurich in 1974 for six months to do the experimental part of his diploma work. Here he grew crystals of SRTO3, a ceramic material belonging to the family of perovskites. Muller, himself interested in perovskites, urged him to continue his research, and after obtaining his master's degree from Munster in 1977 Bednors started a PhD at the ETH Zurich Swiss Federal Institute of Technology under supervision of Haney Granicher and Alex Muller. In 1978, his future wife, Mechthild Wenmer, whom he had met in Munster, followed him to Zurich to start her own PhD. In 1982, after obtaining his PhD, he joined the IBM lab. There, he joined Muller's ongoing research on superconductivity. In 1983, Bednors and Muller began a systematic study of the electrical properties of ceramics formed from transition metal oxides, and in 1986 they succeeded in inducing superconductivity in a lanthanum barium copper oxide Labacuo, also known as LBCO. The oxide's critical temperature TC was 35 K, a full 12 K higher than the previous record. This discovery stimulated a great deal of additional research in high-temperature superconductivity on cuprate materials with structures similar to LBCO, soon leading to the discovery of compounds such as BSCCO TC107K and YBCO TC92K. In 1987, Bednors and Muller were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for their important breakthrough in the discovery of superconductivity in ceramic materials. In the same year Bednors was appointed an IBM Fellow. Topic. Awards and honours 13th Fritz London Memorial Award 1987. Danny Heinemann Prize of the Göttingen Academy 1987. Robert Wichard Pohl Prize 1987. Hewlett Packard Europhysics Prize 1988. Marcel Benoist Prize 1986 Nobel Prize for Physics 1987 James C McGrady Prize for New Materials 1988 Minnie Rosen Award 1988 Victor Mortis Goldschmidt Prize Otto Klung Prize 1987 National Academy of Sciences Foreign Associate 2018 Topic References Topic. External links Pioneers in Electricity and Magnetism, Johannes Georg Bednors, National High Magnetic Field Laboratory